Hello. Good evening, everybody. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher, and you? Not bad, thank you. I'm, I'm happy to see everybody. How was your weekend? It was a little difficult. <laughs> really? Really? Why was it difficult? Um, how can I say this feeling? Oh, um, the parade. The parade? Mm -hmm. Parade, yes. Okay. I went with my little daughter to her parade. <laughs> oh, okay. That's nice. How old is your daughter? Uh, she is 11 years old. Oh, okay. So she's not so small. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anybody else did something interesting on the on the long weekend? Did you do something interesting? No. Nadi saw something interesting on the long weekend. Really? Oh, teacher. Hi. Hello, Marisela. What did you do on the so long so. weekend? What, so what, so. what did you do on the long weekend? Um, um resting oh, and yeah. work and work and work in in Nina? Online. Online. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Sounds fair enough. Excellent. Excellent, Anna Isela. Okay, good. So we are going to start our class by taking attendance. So just give me a moment. All right, um, let me start. Okay, Anaisela Janis. Hey, present, no podía encender el micrófono. It's okay, thank you. Ana Ruth Perez. Present, teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Carlos Ernesto Flores. Carlos Ernesto Flores. Okay. Diana Cristabel Meléndez. Present teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Gerardo Jose Tepas. I'm here, teacher. Okay, good. Um, Jose Mauricio Martinez. Present. Okay, very good, excellent. Eh, Juana Margarita Sea. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, ¿Será que pueda encender su cámara? Okay, wonderful, thank you. Eh, Catherine Zulema Poca Sangre. Present. Excellent. Eh, Catherine Nicole Salazar. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Kat, Katy Jordana Dos Bruces. Katy Jordana Dos Bruces. Thank okay. you. Eh, Laura Lizette Peña. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Lorena Araceli Hernández. 
Lorena Araceli Hernández. Lorena. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Ok, wonderful, there she is. Eh, Melissa Cecilia Beltrán. Melissa Cecilia Beltrán. Not here. Eh, Mina del Carmen Ruano. Present teacher. Excellent. Eh, very good. Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Roberto Carlos Alparo. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Eh, Salvador Antonio Martínez. Present. Okay, thank you. Sebastián Guadalupe Aguilar. Present. Very good. Tamara Eugenia Aguilar. Present teacher. Okay. ¿Será que podemos ver su camarita? Sí, ahorita. Okay. Ahí está. Thank you. And Ursula Adriana Burgos. Ursula Adriana Burgos. Okay. All right, guys and girls. Um, thank you for um connecting always on time. Um so we have been talking a little bit about appearance. And um, we learned last class about modifiers with participles and prepositions. So I'm going to show you uh, what we talked about a little. We talked about this a little bit last class. So let's just um, review. See this? Yes. Yes. Okay. So basically, um, what I was explaining was last class for those of you that um that were not here or or those of you that were here but you forgot, is that um with the participle the participles, basically what it is is we originally would have a relative clause that would be like the man who is wearing a green um, shirt, or the he's the man, the, the the one who is talking to Liz. So that's what it would originally say. And so basically, for this, um, we are crossing out, right? Let me try that again. Okay, so basically what we're doing here is we're crossing out the who. We're crossing out is, and we're left with the verb in the ing form or what we call the gerund so the man wearing a green shirt how would you say that in spanish the man wearing a green shirt el hombre viste camisa verde not el hombre viste because what we're doing is we're identifying we're identifying who it is Lleva pues. Lleva pues. Está vistiendo. Él es el hombre que está vistiendo una camisa verde. Ajá, uh -huh. exactly. That's the idea. Él es el hombre o oh, uh -huh, que está vistiendo o oh, eh, que viste. Right? Que viste de. Uh, 
de verde, de camisa verde. De camiseta verde. Camis no camiseta, de pero camisa, camisa, camisa verde. Camisa verde, sí. Yeah, exactly. Or he's the one who is talking to Liz. Let's say. Él es el. Es el que está hablando con Liz. Él es el que habla con Liz. Con Liz. Okay. All right. Now, eh, we can also use prepositions to identify who we're talking about. For example, she's a woman with the short black hair. So we are able to identify using the word with. She's the tall one in the jeans. They're the people next to the window. They're ones on the couch. How would you say she's a woman with short black hair? How would you say that? Es la mujer con pelo corto negro. Mm -hmm. Es la mujer con pelo corto y negro. Mm -hmm. Cabello, pelo. Uh -huh. Pelo, cabello. Eh, yeah, pretty much the same thing. She's the one in jeans. How would you say that? She's the one in jeans. Es la que tiene jeans o la que está usando jeans? <laughs> kind of. Es la alta con jeans. Yeah, es la alta. Eh, de jeans. No con, mm -hmm. pero de jeans. Ah, okay. Es la, ajá, es la alta de jeans. De jeans. Mm -hmm. You're the people next... Sorry, they're the people next to the window. Son las personas al lado de la ventana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, son las personas al lado de la, de la ventana. They're the ones on the couch. Son los que están en el sillón. Exactly. No, que son el sillón. Any questions about this? No questions? Okay, very good. So what we'll do, we'll do some exercises here. Um, we have some sentences here. Um, these sentences, we have to rewrite them using modifiers with participles or prepositions, right? So for example, yeah, Clark is the tall guy. He's wearing a blue down shirt and cargo pants. We can say Clark is the tall guy wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants. So we gotta do number two, three, four, and five. Is that pretty clear? We understand what we're gonna do. Yes. Yeah. Any questions? Okay, um, let me send this to the to the WhatsApp group. Give me a moment. Sorry guys, I don't know why I'm having trouble. Okay. Okay, 
So please tell me if you are able to see um, the picture that I just um, sent in the group. You see it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, just making sure that everybody's here. Uh, Chris, uh, Diana, Cristabel, are you going to be able to participate? Yes, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Mm. Gerardo Jose? Yes. You will be able to participate? Yes, I have availability. Okay, wonderful. And Lorena, listening? Will you be able to participate? Lorena, is it? Okay. Okay. Um, all right, let's um open up the rooms for about um seven minutes. Okay, so here we go. Clar y este Clar es el tipo que lleva la camisa con botones y pantalones largos. Hi, teacher. Gracias. Hello. Ese va que creo que hay que ordenar las preguntas, ¿verdad? Um, so you have to create sentences using the modifiers with participles and prepositions. Okay. Hey, teacher. Voy a empezar con la primera vez que dice. Toma. Toma. Ajá. Sitting to the left for an off Antonio. Ah, yes. Ajá. Sitting. Sitting. To the left of Antonio. Of Antonio, ajá. And the number five. The number five is. AJ is the serious looking boy listening to his new salsa CD. Okay. Number five. AJ is the AJ is the serious looking. Serious looking boy listening. Looking to his new salsa CD. Boy, yes. Tiene sentido. Uh -huh. Ya tendría 
tendríamos las cinco resueltas. Salsa CD. CD, ajá. Antonio. Uh -huh. Ok. The, the number one is Clarice the tall guy wearing a put on down shirt and cargo pants. Ajá. Ahí está Natal. Ajá. ajá. Number two. The tall guy. Ajá. Number two. Adam and Luis. Are the Luis. good looking couple talking to Tom? Talking to Tom. Talking to Tom. Ajá. Number three. Mm. Is online. Is the John online? Online. Is the John line. girl? Line. Line. Is the John girl? In a stripped t-shirt and blue jeans. Ah, lying is the younger, striped t-shirt and blue jeans. Uh, uh, correct. Ah, number three. Uh -huh. Number three. Number four. Uh, Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Antonio. Antonio. Uh -huh. Me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sí, cierto. Yes. And number five, AJ. Is the serious looking, looking boy listening to his new salsa CD? Correct. Okay. Guys, the attractive woman sería sitting to the left of Antonio. And another sería LG, ¿verdad? Is the serious looking boy listening to his new salsa CD? CD. Yes, I think. Pero se parece un ejercicio que venía en la, en la plataforma, no sé si, si se recuerda. Sí. Así ah, era por eso. Sí. The girls are finished? Uh, yes. Salvador, were you working with um with Ana Isela? Ana Isela Yanes. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, one moment. Okay. So we're going to check. Can you see my screen? Yes. 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 Oh, okay, perfect. Yes. All right. So let's let's start with the first one. So we, the first one we has actually been done for you. It says Clark is a tall guy wearing a button-down shirt and cargo pants. Let's go to number two. Adam and Louise are good-looking people. They're talking to Tom. So how can we combine these together? We um, can remove their mm -hmm. and 
I don't know if it's correct, but you can tell me, teacher. So what should and I say? Adam and Luis are the good looking okay. couple. Okay, hold on, hold on. Adam uh -huh. and Luis are the good looking. Are the good looking couple. Couple. Talking. Mm -hmm. And you can tell me if it's correct or not. With Tom. No. We have no, to continue to Tom. Yeah. Okay. You don't okay. need to change anything. Okay. Okay. So, very good. Exactly. Because originally we would have to say they are, oh, sorry, not. They are the good looking couple who are talking to Tom. That's how we would normally have said it. But remember, we eliminate the who and we eliminate the verb to be. We eliminate okay. Talking to Tom. Okay. Does that sound good, everybody? Yes. Yes. Any questions? No. No. No teacher. All right. Let's go for number three. Lynn is a young girl. She's in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. What are you going to say? Lynn is a young girl. In a striped shirt and blue jeans. Okay, Lynn is a young girl. In a striped. In a striped. Striped. T shirt and blue jeans. What do you guys think about this? There is a young girl in a striped t-shirt and blue jeans. Do you agree? Can we uh after girl mm -hmm. wearing striped t-shirt and blue jeans? Uh no. No. No, no. because we're not, we don't use I mean I, you like grammatically speaking it's like it's not correct it's not incorrect. Oh, okay no 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 hold okay. on hold. grammatically speaking it's not incorrect mm -hmm. but okay. for the purpose of the exercise all you had mm -hmm. to do was was combine the two ideas and in those in that sentence there is no where okay 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 thank you you're welcome. And the last, uh, next one, Jessica is the attractive woman. She's sitting to the left of Antonio. Jessica is the attractive woman. Sitting to the left of Antonio. Okay, so Jessica is the attractive woman. Sitting to the left of Antonio. Sitting to the left of Antonio. Yes. Do you agree? Does everybody agree? Yes, teacher. No, agree? Yeah, so um, this is like we're, it's, it's, if, it's as if we were saying Jessica's an attractive woman who is sitting to the left of Antonio, but because we have to eliminate the who and we eliminate the verb to be, we're left with this, sitting to the left of Antonio. Sounds good? Yes. Yes. Any questions? 
Ne diyor? Tamam. Okay. That's the last one then. AJ is a serious looking boy. He's listening to his his new salsa CD. AJ is a serious looking boy listening to his new salsa CD. So what did you say? H is a serious looking salsa boy. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. And H is a, is a serious looking boy. Looking boy, listening. Oh. Listening? To his new salsa CD. Good, because here it was like if we were saying who is, right? So AJ is a serious looking boy who is listening to his new social city. But we eliminate the verb to be and we eliminate who. So end up with this. How do you guys feel about this? Is it difficult to understand it? It's okay. What do you think? Okay. It's okay. okay. Any questions? No questions? Clear? No, no teacher. Clear like water or clear like gorchata? Which one? Like water. Like water. Okay, good. I hope so. All right, so let's stop sharing. Okay. All right. So, um, Okay, so what we're going to do now is I want you to think about um, the people in your class. Okay, so the people right now with you. Now, this may be a little bit um, less complicated or better said more complicated because we are on Zoom, but I think it's possible to do something like this. So tell me if you are able to see my screen. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, all right. So number one is probably not going to be possible to make. Okay, so we're probably gonna have to forget about this one because um, we can't say that they're next to somebody because um, each each person is going to find someone different that they're sitting next to. Okay, but we can say she's, um, so who's the woman wearing blah, blah, blah. Um, who is blah, 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 which one is, who are the people, and who are the ones, okay? I want you to make sentences about the people in your class, okay? Um, using these structures. So to give you an example, um, Let me see. I can't really see everybody right now. Vamos a tener que quitar 
la pantalla para que se puedan ver mejor. But, um, one moment. Okay. Um, do you see it? You see it in the chat? Yeah. Okay, so if you could turn on your cameras, everybody, uh, please turn on your cameras so that um, people can see you and they can describe the people in the class. Or can, you, you can't describe people that you cannot see. So you're gonna have to um, turn on your camera. And you can ask me questions if you like the problem.
you have a questions you want to ask me? We are going to use only the three questions, the three first questions, correct? Uh, no, you can use the other ones too. Okay. So you can say, for example, which one is um, which one is um, which one is um, the one in the green shirt, for example? So you can use any one of those. Although to be fair, it's probably a little bit difficult to say um, who are the people, yeah, so yeah. but but you can, you can, it's possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can ask any questions if you'd like. How are you guys doing? Are we ready now or do you need more time? Mm -hmm. Do you need more time? Or are you ready? Ready, guys? Yes? I think that's a yes. It was one minute. One minute. Okay. All right. Okay. One more fair, minute. fair enough. I'll give you a minute. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
Okay, I think that's about a minute. I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to put you into small groups um, so that you can start asking questions. Do we understand what we're going to be doing? Yes, no. Can you repeat? Okay, so you're going to be, I'm going to put you into a breakout rooms so okay. you can um, discuss with your group. You're going to be asking the questions and trying to be able to solve who you're talking about. Oh, okay. Okay. All okay. right. Are you ready? More or less? You ready? Ready. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, All right. Ready. All right. We're taking you guys to the breakout rooms right now. Hello, Juana Sam. Hello. Are you ready to share? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> Bye. And I also need you to change your your name on the platform, Juana, because right now you just appear like Juana Sea. So I need you to change your, your, your name on the platform. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. All right, you can start. Quizás no estoy lista. What's wrong, Juana? What's the problem? Eh, eh, Quizás no he comprendido ahí, teacher. You're asking questions about the about your classmates. For example, ¿Quién es el que eh, sabe rojo? ¿Quién es el que, um, el que tiene la pantalla um, como que fuera una, un, una ola de, de clase? Etc, etc. Yeah? Okay. Bye. Okay. If you want, Gerardo, you can start. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. The the um, let me see the the instruction is going to be the this sentence, this question using the name of people in your class. In your class, yeah. Uh, yeah, but now I I want to use the name with my classmate. The people in your class, yes. Yes, in this case, it will be Juana. O sea, usted ya hizo las oraciones, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. sí. Okay, so but, you're going to tell Juana and Juana is going to guess. Who are you talking about? Bueno, mm -hmm. este, bueno yo me estoy basando en la última... 
en la última imagen que mandó, ¿verdad? Donde hay preguntas, donde Sí, dice correcto. quién es el, quién es el hombre que está sentado a la partulla, eh, quién es la Sí, mujer. pero dijimos, dijimos de que el, el, la parte de sentarse no se podía, ¿verdad? porque Mm. obviamente no estamos sentados en una, causa, en una clase física. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, but in this case, I'm going to ask me, for, for example, in this case, who is, uh, I can say my name. In the question three, who is, and my name, I can say my name. What do you mean exactly? Do you mean example? Well, If, for example, uh, you send the, the, the picture from WhatsApp group, Uh -huh. and with this, with this question, uh, we are going to choose, we are going to from formular new question, but using that question, right? Mm -hmm. Just, 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 just ask the questions that you wrote. So, Okay, so well, no, no se complicando. Just, just ask the questions that you wrote. okay, uh, who is, who is Gerardo? No, no, puede ser Gerardo, no, porque eso no es lo que hemos estado aprendiendo. Lo que hemos estado aprendiendo es utilizar participles and the, the, the preposition. So, who is the person um, in black? So, in is the preposition. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, yes, I got it. But in a few words, we are going in band question. Hmm? Vamos a inventar las preguntas. Ya él tuvo que ver escrito. Ah, Por eso sí, por le... eso es así. Ajá. Pues es, esas preguntas son. Mm -hmm. Las que escribió. Bye. Ok. Es la misma. Mm -hmm. Ok. Let me see. Let me see. I, I'm going to check it very well. No tengo respuesta. Okay. Uh -huh. In my case, for is who are the people who wear glasses? In this Num case, number one. I know, is that answer? Number one. No. Um, yeah, number four? two. A four. No. Uh -huh. Who are the people wearing glasses? Who are the people? Wear glasses? Wear glasses. Ah. <laughs> uh, one, two, three. We, <laughs> we are wearing glasses. Okay. Uh -huh. And two is with Anna. Uh-huh. With Anna. Uh -huh. And the answer, for example, um, she is uh, wearing glasses and wear shirt, a pink shirt. Uh-huh. Pink shirt. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Yo solo hice hasta las cinco. Me faltó una. Who are the ones? 
who are the ones? Uh -huh. Who are the ones? Who are the ones? Yes. And you can tell uh, me. Me too. Who are the ones? Mm. And you? Similar to me. Okay, so just letting you know, um, this this activity was not too difficult. All you had to do was use the participles and the prepositions correctly, right? So um, to give you an example, who's the man, well, this one I told you not to use, right? Because pretty much we can't. So this one can't because we're on Zoom, but the other ones we could, for example, um, who is the woman wearing um, glasses, for example? Who is the woman wearing glasses? Or who is, um, who is a, could be what can we do? Who is um wearing a white t shirt? Okay. Sebastiana? Yeah, yeah. This is these are just some some examples. Yeah, but yeah, it could be Sebastiana, right? Oh, okay, sorry, teacher. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. Or which one is um, which one is um, which one is in blue, for example? Which one is in blue? Why is like a so de azul, right? Or, for example, who are the people um, using flat, using fans? Who are the people using fans? Sando ventiladores. Okay. Who are the ones um, participating regularly. Example, right? Okay, so those are just some examples of some sentences that you can write. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay, so, so here yeah. we're using, we're using a, the participle, the present, the, the, the present participle, the gerund. Here again, we're using the participle. Um, here we're using a preposition, participle, participle. Okay, so you can use it any form. Okay, guys, so we're going to clear this and we're going to take attendance because just like that, our class is over. Yes. 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 
Diana Cristabel Meléndez. Present, teacher. Eh, Gerardo José Tepas. I'm here. José Mauricio Martínez. Present. Juana Margarita Sea. Present, teacher. Eh, Catherine Zuleima Poca Sangre. Present. Catherine Nicole Salazar. Present. Okay. Um, Katy Jordana Dos Cruces. Catherine Nicole Salazar Larios. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Uh, Laura Lisset Peña. Present, teacher. Eh, Lorena Araceli Hernández. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Pero se estuvo acá, ¿verdad? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ok. Uh, Melissa Cecilia Betrán. Melissa Cecilia. Uh, Mirna del Carmen Rueno. Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Ok, wonderful. Eh, Salvador Antonio Martínez. Present. Excellent. Eh, Sebastián Guadalupe Aguilar. Present, teacher. Very good. Um, Tamara Eugenia Aguilar. Present teacher. Excellent. And Ursula Adriana Burgos. Okay. All right, guys. That's going to be all for today. And I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye, Take care. Bye bye. bye. Have a good evening. Bye. 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 Have a good <laughs> evening. <laughs> Good evening. Oh. Oh.